So how do I optimize our concrete mixture? Let me show you the cycle in three parts, starting with creation of concrete mix design, next monitoring and assessment of actual strength test results, then finding out standard deviation and new target mean strength, and finally going back to first part optimizing the concrete mix design. Using this optimizer template, let's say I have to use 19 mm maximum size of aggregate. Specified strength is 50 MPA and 190 mm slump. So in the beginning, let's say I don't have standard deviation and target mean strength is 60 MPA. By pressing this automation button, the required average compressive strength of 60 MPA can be achieved using estimated 0.31 water cement ratio. Now reference to ACI guidebook, I have to use at least 144 kilos of water due to voids of the sand. So to do that, I have to adjust this cement content. Let's say only 465 kilogram. Okay, now let's say we did some trials for both laboratory and plant trials, and we found out everything is compliant to both the fresh concrete properties and hardened concrete properties. So let's say we proceed to supply it in a certain client and it so happened that we get a very good result. As shown from this quality control chart reference to ACI 214R, this red line represents the three consecutive strength test, while the black line is the running strength test, both above the specified 50 megapascal at 28 days. This next chart shows that the coefficient of variation is consistently below 6%, which is excellent. This last chart shows the within test coefficient of variation, with a trend starting from very good to excellent, suggesting a very high degree of quality control, and we are very much confident with this running mix. So moving forward, we have to take at least 30 latest strength tests so that the standard deviation does not need to be modified according to ACI 214R guidebook. So we can just simply copy these last latest 30 strength tests and apply and use them to another chart which is the statistical analysis with normal distribution curve and frequency histogram. After transferring 30 strength test values below this table, and based on these statistical data, the result average strength is 68.3 MPA and the standard deviation is 2.75 MPA. Now using this 2.75, let's go back to our optimizer and apply this 2.75 standard deviation. So now, I just have to use higher water cement ratio of 0.34 to achieve the new lower target strength of 53.7 MPA. That means I can actually reduce the cement content from 465 to 430, considering the use of the same water content. That's much savings I did. But wait, you notice also that the margin now is very less, almost 4 megapascal only. So if you are not confident with this due to uncontrolled bad site conditions, that could potentially reduce strength up to 15%. Then use conservative strength margin. Use the manual input. Press this button to reduce the water cement ratio to 0.32 with new target mean strength of 58.3 MPA. As a result, strength margin is 8.3 MPA from specified strength. So in this case, I have to increase a little bit of cement content to cover the required water content. So now it's 455 kilogram. Still, I'm using 10 kg less than the original mix design, which was 465 kg, with new target strength of 58.3 MPa. Now, this is the final design material's weights. And let's review the other parameters. The pumpability graph is okay. Look at the coarse aggregate grading, it's within the limits. Fine aggregate is also within the limits. And also parameters such as paste and mortar for concrete placement using pump with 125 mm diameter. So now you can try this new optimized mix design and repeat the process. Monitoring quality control chart. Use latest standard deviation until it's possible to use the lowest cement content with the help of this amazing package. Click the link and try now.